Fainty sat down, heart pounding. He's on a date. It's okay to share, you might relate. It's a young lady, oh no, actually she's older. Thought she would have given the cold shoulder, too warm for stone. I give smiles that makes glaciers flow. I give winks that make you want to know I'm confidently nervous. Sweat patches doing a disservice. It's hot in here. Paper towels won't make them disappear. Imagine a big man like me, low neck V, and sweat making rivers like the sea just flowing out. Oh, there's a text. She's here now, so calm down. Take a breath, ignore it, you know? it's a. Nice vibe in here, dear God, help me to endure it. She walks in. It's kind of crazy. Cliches feel a bit lazy, but she's buff, you know. I, translation, very good looking. Conversation starts to flow. The hello, how are you's come easy. Rom-com to the point of cheesy. She's impressed. You gave an address, she exclaims. Yeah, 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 COP26. That's not a big deal. Here's some pics. I'm confidently nervous. She's gone quiet. What's the purpose? Do you think that maybe we deserve this? She says, casually flicking through my phone. I'm like, what do you mean? She says, well, you know, we're cutting down all the trees, killing all the bees, getting on our knees, asking why we can't breathe. We're the disease. My guy, it's 40 degrees. Everything is dying. Our government isn't even trying. How many oil fields they're trying to open up? And that Jack Daw thing the government's doing, they're not even trying to cover up. And I still order from Amazon. I'm the disease. I chime in. She cuts me off. Get going whilst the going's good, no? You got money now. You're out the hood now. I mean, you grew up poor, but now you're good now. And so all of a sudden we get punished. What's the point? So where do we go? I just want my piece of the pie. Yeah, it's rotten, but I got a slice. So I'm full of disease. I let it linger. I see fear dressed in anarchy, styled by uncertainty. It's easier to imagine the end of the world than the end of capitalism. It is easier to imagine the end of the world and the start of something better because we have no examples other than those curated by a privileged white eye that never include the most vulnerable in the narrative. Never question structure, real change is not comparative. I mean, how many speeches have I done about artistic hope and not about money? Isn't that funny? Because money has such a part, no? Governments allow subsidies for oil, which makes certain people a lot of money. Our pensions are invested in fossil fuels, that's money. We get funded by fossil fuels to make art, that's money. We get exploited because we don't have enough money. The British Empire made slaves, which produced a great amount of money. Slaves for industrial revolution that led to more money. And I'm sorry, how are we having this event? in Scotland, the host of COP26, and the Jackdaw oil field is still an idea. Ah, money. Ain't got enough time because we ain't got enough money. Isn't it funny? I feel heads lean in as the conversation gets heated. I feel things chime in that felt depleted. She's like my cousins that make me want to fight because I know they know something's not right, they're just tired and uninspired, and need more than the pledges in the faraway 2050 that do the bare minimum. I mean, how the fuck are you supposed to be an active citizen when all forms of resistance are made illegal? It's an active effort to make you feel feeble. Shout out to Pretty Patel, you know. <laughs> Laws and legislation's making a living hell, you know. And food prices and rents are on the rise and police stops are always authorised. So where do we go from here? Big pause. Because now I've got the room's attention, eyes on me. Like I've got a new invention. Take a breath, speak without condescension, mind open, take them to a new dimension. I'm confident that you are no disease. That we have a system that doesn't care for your needs and it makes everything feel like it's your fault. So you recycle in the hope that it will halt and it doesn't. You ignore the fact that they care for the rich and not our poorer cousins. You know that even if there was some magical device to clean the air and make everything nice, it wouldn't operate in your postcode. 
The system's rotten and most know. Climate change is a close foe, but if it didn't make someone a lot of money, these colonial companies will go home. The infection is premeditated. You are no disease, so be no bystander. I say never take it out on your own. Join a group, a union, something that resists. Be radical with where your money is and your businesses and your pensions or your art. Where is it coming from? Where is it going? Find your community, feed your community, resource your community, call out injustice and build on hope like you would on love. To the collaborators, to the delegates, to the artists, the companies here, we have to do more. We must grab it out at its root. We must inspire. We must show example. We must see how hope is a verb and perpetuate it, build on it. We need to see what the future looks like outside of the systems that cause the problem in the first place. Because I'm confident if we further the radical how we create culture, how we work together, how we think about money, how we challenge these styles, we add to the tides that change the world.